Okay, so here comes the real test. There's my freeze-dried cheese-filled burgers that I use the burger press for. If you want to see a detailed video of how I made these, I made a video called 3-in-1 uh, Burger Press Unboxing, and I I'll, went into great detail on that. But I want to see what these come out inside, if they dried. So let's open one up. Yep, it's dry inside. So that's good. So now I'm going to rehydrate one. That's boiling water I have here. Let's see how they rehydrate. I'm going to stick that in there. And we're going to let that soak for five minutes. I'll probably flip that over about halfway through. If it don't sink, it looks like it might sink because it soaks up that water. Let's just watch it for a second. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll flip that over about halfway through the five minutes. And we'll uh, go from there. Okay, that's been five minutes. Let's see if it rehydrated in five minutes. Give that a little squeeze. Put that on the plate. Put that to the side. Let's cut it open and see what it looks like on the inside. A little bit of cheese I can see in there. Let's see if I did enough. Let's have a taste. Let's see what it tastes like. Yeah. It rehydrated very nicely. I think I need to put more cheese in it. Mmm, I got a piece of cheese there. That is good. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. In that load, I freeze-dried some Bush's Baked Beans, a number 10 can, and so let's get those rehydrated and some potato salad. Now I do have a recipe for this potato salad in one of my other videos. Let's get that reconstituted. Got that right next to the mic so it's probably not the best idea to have it there. put some of that tater salad on there. And some baked beans on there. And we're going to call that a meal. Some hamburger. Yeah, that hamburger came out really, really, am I recording? Yeah, really, really nice. Baked beans, they reconstitute very well. my tater salad I 
I just love that. It comes out so good. But there you have it. You can put up. That was about, I measured those. Those were about an inch thick. It said it was done at like 20... Eight hours or something like that, but I added more time and we went to 48 hours because it was so thick. I wanted to make sure that it got to the center of the burger, which it did. Very, very nice. Mm, mm, mm. Really constituted beautifully. There you have it. I think that's the first on freeze drying a stuffed burger. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, John and Bibbs, and I'll see you next time.